Hello guys and welcome back to another tutorial. Today we will learn how we can build a shop to sell digital products and also offer a free download theater only for those members who pay a sign-up fee of $50. We will be able to achieve this result in a very easy way using our plugin JIT WooCommerce membership. Now, before we start, please make sure you hit the like button below this video, subscribe to our channel and also click on the bell so you don't miss any of our videos. Now, let's start! Perfect! Before we start configuring the result we want to achieve today, which is to build a shop with digital products where only the members of our club can download them for free, we need to, of course, activate our plugin. For that, we're going to go over to plugins. Here we search for membership. Here we have it, Git WooCommerce Membership Premium, and we click on activate. Then after we have seen this message, plugin activated, it means we're ready to go. So now let's go to our shop. Here we are, and as you can see, this is an ebook shop where we sell books individually for a price of $10 each. However, we also want to add another option so our customers can buy a club for $50, which will allow them to download all the books we have available in our shop for free. So the first thing that we need to do is create our club product. For that, we can go directly from here to new and product. Here, I will begin with the product name, which is going to be simply club. Next, we're going to set up the price of this product, which is going to be a simple product with a regular price of $50. This means that every user that purchases this product for this price will automatically become a member and therefore will be able to download all the books for free. However, we still need to configure that step from our plugin. But don't worry, we will get to that in just one moment. For now, let's finish configuring our product. Next, let's set up a product image. From here, we click, and from this media library, I'm going to select the image that I want. In this case, this is the one, so we set it up as the product image. Here we have it. And finally, I want to enter a short description, which is going to be this one. So now we are ready to publish our product. We go here and we publish it. And now we're ready to go and have a look. So we can go directly from this link. And here we have our product. As you can see, it is our club product with the price of $50. And all of the users can come here and directly proceed with the purchase by adding it to the cart. Now, as I mentioned, we still need to configure another step in order to achieve the final result we're looking for. Now we need to proceed and create our membership plan which we're going to associate with the purchase of this specific product so all the users that buy the club will become members of the plan and therefore will be able to download all the books. So to achieve this, let's go now back to dashboard. From here, we're going to look for GIF and membership. From here, we need to go over to membership plans so we can create our new one. And for that, all we need to do is click on this button, add new plan. Then we can begin with the title, which in this case is going to be book club. And now let's focus on this first option we have here to allow access to this plan after purchasing a specific product. In this case, like I mentioned, I want to associate our new membership plan to the purchase of the club product we just created. In this case, all of the users that purchases our club will become members of this plan automatically, which is exactly what we're looking for. So we enable this option and then from the next field, we can search for our club product. We have it right here. Perfect. And then I want to stop on this other option. Users can download. Here we have two options. All downloadable products without any limit or using credits associated to products to download. In this case, I'm going to leave the first option because we're going to create a special video to show you how you can limit the download of the product using credits. But 
For now, let's focus on the first option and allow all downloadable products without any limit. Next, let's go over to the permissions section. Specifically, we want to go to products because here we can decide which products will be included in this plan. As you can see, you can decide to include all products or specific products, product categories or product tags. For this video, we're going to go ahead and leave all products. In this way, the users can download all of the eBooks we have available in our shop. From this part, we're ready. So let's go ahead and publish our plan. We click here. But to finish with the configuration, we still need to go ahead to the general options. In this case, I want to show you specifically some of the options available in the shop options, which are precisely related to our shop. So we will stop first in the second option, which is how to manage access to restricted products. Here, you can decide that only the members can view the products or that everybody can view the products, but only the members can download them either for free or by using the credits. In this case, I do want everybody to view the products, but only the members will download them for free. Then we can also decide on where to locate the download link position. If we open these options, you can see you have many locations available. And in this case, we're going to set it after the add to cart button. However, if we think about it, since our users will be already able to download all of the books for free, it doesn't make sense to show them as well the add to cart button. For this reason, there is a particular option where we can hide the price in the add to cart button for our members. That option is right here. As you can see, hide the price in the add to cart buttons for members. We have this option already enabled, so that is exactly what is going to happen. So with this option, we have finished our configuration. So all that is left is save our options so we can go ahead and see the final result. And we're going to see it from the two perspectives. First, we're going to see it as a user that is not a member and therefore they cannot download for free the books. And then we're going to log in as a member to see the difference. I have opened now this product from an incognito window so I can show you the view as a non-member. In this case, first of all, we can see the price of $10 right here and then we can see the add to cart button over here. Also, we can find this message inviting our users to join the club. And if they click on this button, they are redirected to our club product which they can purchase for $50 to access all of the books. In this case, if they proceed in add to cart, so if we buy this product, we will become members automatically of the club and the view from our product pages will change. Let's have a look. Now I have opened the same product page, but this time I am already a member of the club. So you can see the difference. There is no price nor add to cart button anywhere in the page. The only button that we can see is the download right here so our users can freely download any of the products that they will find in our shop. Of course, this same button will be available for every other product page in our shop. Remember that if you want your users to pay a monthly or a yearly subscription, instead of a single payment, you can use our membership plugin together with our subscription plugin. In this way, in order to download the eBooks, the customers will need to pay, for example, $10 a month or $100 a year. This integration between the products Yeet subscription and Yeet membership is definitely one of the most popular among our users. Well, that was it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you next time. Bye bye.